My name is Ron Meyer. I'm Professor of Strategic Leadership here at TIAS School for Business and Society. And welcome to Meyer's Management Models, Insightful Tools to Kickstart Your Thinking. And this is installment six, in which I'd like to tell you about the confidence quotient. Now the confidence quotient is a model which helps you to answer the question, what determines how much confidence people have in me? So if you want to lead others, they're only going to follow if they feel a certain measure of confidence in you. So the question is, how can you actually improve that confidence? Because then you're going to have more influence. You're going to be able to get people to come on board. So let's go to the model. And the model of confidence is actually built up of three key elements. Firstly, it's about, do people think that you're credible, that you can do things well? Secondly, they're going to look at, are you trustworthy? Do you mean well? And thirdly, they're going to look at the amount of risk that they're running. So these are the three key elements. Let's look at the underlying elements because those are the ones that you're going to be able to influence. So on the credibility side, make sure that people understand that you're capable. By the way, you might want to build up your capability so, so that it's not fake. But people have to see that you're capable of doing something. Say, hey, I believe in you, you're credible. But not only is it that you're able to do it, but that you're also reliable. You're going to be there and you're going to be able to act at the right moment. If people believe those two things, they're going to, you're credible. But that doesn't necessarily mean that they're going to trust you, that they, they believe that you're not going to double cross them. That's trustworthiness, that's something else. You can be an untrustworthy, but a very credible person. But your trustworthiness starts with people believing that you intend well, so that so you, you mean well towards them. Again, you might mean well, but do they perceive it in that way? But secondly, it's not only that you mean well, but that you'll also be fair along the way. We talk, you're going to act in a just manner. If people believe that, they're going to trust you. And if they trust you and you're credible, wow, that is actually going to strengthen their confidence. But that will be undermined by the risk that they're running. The higher the chance of things going poorly for them, and the larger the impact of that negative behavior on them, if those two together are going to create a certain measure of risk. And now we see why it's actually a quotient, because the things on the top actually strengthen each other, and the things on the bottom are going to actually divide that, so, and then we get a quotient. Well, you could do this in a quantitative way, uh, but it's not actually intended so, as mathematical. It's just for you to think about confidence in this manner. So what are the takeaways? Realize that credibility and trustworthiness are two separate things, and you need to build both. Realize that the confidence will be on people thinking about how are you going to behave in future. So you have to be believable into the future. And one of the best ways of creating believability is to also show it in the past. So also realize that it's all about perceptions. You could be very trustworthy, but if people don't see you that way, truth is in the eye of the beholder. So realize that you really have to work on the confidence in that person. Realize that the risk they're running is going to undermine confidence. So see if you can take away a level of that risk. And last but not least, in everything I've been telling you, you actually have a big role to play in the confidence that people have in you. So manage that proactively. Manage the brand that you have. Think about that branding and how you can strengthen it. Well, hopefully again a useful tool. Hope to see you again next month.